Hey everybody, welcome back to my channel. I am Ms. Roxanne and this is Daily Rambles. Today we are switching the gears and we are doing Voltron Season 1, Episode 1. This is Voltron Legendary Def Defender. I watched it forever ago and I that was before I even did YouTube. And I literally um, started doing YouTube during like season 4 or 5. I forget which one. And I said after the that the, after the series wrapped, I was going to eventually come around to it. It's been about two years, but I can finally do it now because, you know, self-distancing and stuff. So, I've been doing a lot. So, we're going to do it in Season 1, Episode 1 called The Rise of Voltron. And it's like, almost like a movie. So, this will be like a long-ass video. And if you watch the entire thing, then thank you so much. If not, okay. <laughs> So, um, basically, we start off with Pluto, where they're getting ice samples, and we have Shiro, then, um, Pidge's dad, and older brother are there, and then a ship appears and grabs them, and takes them to the home base, and then we hear the name Zarkon, then we have one year later, and the sun decided to come out right now, so sorry about that, it's been cloudy all day, and sun's poking out rain on times. Then we catch where Lance and Hunk are on a mission with Pidge, and they're signing to a distress beacon, and Pidge is failing, then Hunk is blowing chunks everywhere, and I mean everywhere, and they're going in, and they lost a wing, and we found out it was a simulation, and they failed, and the garrison is pissed off at them, because Lance was not really taking it seriously. And then Lance, Hunk, and Pidge uh, sneak out at night, and we have Pidge just staring at the stars, but it was really looking for um, radio signals, trying to find his parent, his dad, and brother. And then we cut to where um, he, um, he, but he's really scanning radio, alien radio chatter, and keeps hearing the word Voltron over and over again. And then we see that the base is on lockdown, and that's because there's a ship crashing, so actually, they're going to go to the ship. And uh, so, then we have Pitch um, had the camera sh uh, feed in there, and see that Shiro is back, and basically warns them about um, aliens. And we found out it has a cyborg arm, and then outside of the camp there's like an explosion, and then keep this behind it. And then he has a really cool fight scene with the Hazmats people. And they try to escape with Pidge, Hunk, and um, Lance all show up as well. And then have more people coming, so they manage to escape and have a really cool chase scene. If you know me, I've been on this channel long enough, I love a chase scene. I absolutely love it, especially with cars or flying, anything. Here for it. So uh, they manage to escape in that cute house. And basically, Keith does not know who the other three people are. <laughs> and, uh, cause he flunked out. <laughs> and then we cut to where they found a cave with a blue lion, and Shira is still kind of fuzzy, but he remembers Voltron. So, um, Hunk did a wavelength, um, thing, and basically matched these mountains, and he got a reading. Then Lance touched the wall, and it lit up blue, and they fell and found the blue lion, but it's in a force field. But Lance um, touched it and freed it, and the guy had vision of Voltron while everybody else. And so the blue lion lets them on, and they do a test run, and the garrison see it, and he's like, what is that? Well, sir, it's a blue lion that's going up around in loop-de-loops out there. <laughs> he's like, I know that, but why? <laughs> And uh, then they go to a space where a ship appeared, and they start firing at them, and they go on the offense. And we find out that Zarkon's fleet is after them, and then this gate opened, and naturally they go through it. And then um, Hunk threw up, and they go to this planet where there's a castle ahead, and they get out, and the lion war uh, roared, and the door opens, so they go through the door, and there's like this ID scan and found the control room. And there's two pods that popped up, and Allura wakes up and goes cray on Lance, and they've been asleep for 10,000 years. And basically her father sent the lions away, and um, we cut to where Shiro remembers Zarkon, and then we cut to where Hagger, where 
at this point she's just called like a witch, but her name's freaking Hacker, okay? And tells Zarkon about Allura, because she can sense the energy of an Altaian. Then Syntax is after them, and then we find out that there was mice that were alive and that are connected to Allura's brain, apparently, and can talk to them. And the ship is arriving in two days thanks to um, Koran. And then we have Allura um, can find the other lions, the black lions, and the castle. So Shira will pilot that, the green will be Pidge, yellow will be Hunk, red will be Keith, but they can't find that one as temperamental AF, so you really have to command respect for it. Then uh, Koran said you have like two hours, that's how long they can keep the portals open, because apparently she can open the portals with uh, quintessence and stuff like that. And so we cut to where um, Pidge found a boat and a creature with Shiro, and that creature will take them to the lions. It's basically like a big sloth type creature. It was super friendly. And then Lance got attacked as he was um, helping with Hunk. And they're right on top of the lion. So um, Lance Lou dropped him off as he was also protecting his back from the other people. And um, Hunk went to go get it. And then there's yellow glow, glow in the cave and they found it. Pitch starting to have doubts, but then there's a green glow, and then he found it. Or she found it. I forgot. She's actually, he's actually a girl, but he poses as a boy. But I think we found it out later in the season, but anyway, spoiler alert, but <laughs> anyway, it's fine. Everything's fine. <laughs> anyway, um, then let's see here. And then Lance is in trouble, but uh, Hunk uh, took care of it. And then they leave, then the Ryan, and then they find out that the red line's on the ship, and that Sindak sends a message to them. And then Koran, um, he's, well, Sindak say, like, have X amount of time to, like, give up willfully or whatever, or we'll attack and stuff like that. Anyway, um, so Laura's father's in the computer and gives her advice and said that, said that she was right and they should have fight, so they're going to fight. Then Allura gives them suits of armor, but the Bayards um, are like, it's like a, a weapon that gives them attention on themselves, but the black one uh, supposedly has been lost and stuff. So the red line, it's very temperamental. And so anyway, Sendak only knows about two of the lions, so they do a fake out. And then they got made, and then we have a fight scene where Shiro um, flashback. And then we cut to where Pidge wants to find um, her dad and brother. And then we cut to where Shira goes with Pidge. And then have a barrier crystal. Uh, so the barrier got knocked down. Uh, okay. Allura's barrier was not working correctly. And when the crystals got knocked askew, so the mice go in there and help it. And then uh, Keith is lost, then got a vibe, and went, went into that direction on the ship. Pidge um, reprogrammed a drone, and the prisoner calls Shiro the champion, and he doesn't remember that at all. And then we cut to where Keith got to the lion, but it's not responsive at all, and it's kind of got Pia like, really mad about it. So the prisoners... Um, so he opened an airlock when he got attacked on, but the lion got him, so it's awake. Then Shiro goes ham on the robots, and he doesn't know where that came from, <laughs> but he dealt with it. Uh, then pretty freaking good. And then the prisoners escape. Then Hunk got through the barrier and smashed up the ion cannon, and then they escape. Then the lion wakes up the black one, and then the Gara attack, and then they try to form Voltron, but that's a no, and they got hit with a tractor beam. And the shield got taken down from Allura's because they repaired the ion cannon and blasted like three times. And then they pulled it together thanks to Shiro's um, inspiring them, and they form Voltron, and they got him on the ship and destroyed the F out of it, and that was in the episode. <laughs> really good episode. I personally really enjoyed it. I give it an A. My only issue is Allura like, just went and was like, okay, great. You're doing this, this, and this, and this. You're going to be head of this, and this, and this outline. I was like, how do you know that? Like, we should have got, like, more context into, like, like, why is there more of a freak out and all this other stuff? It was just kind of 
weird in that sense, but I think, I think everything else flowed really good with the episode. The action scenes were great. It was really well done. I love the series, and I just figured I'll just cover the freaking. I'm watching it again, so... I was like, let me just go ahead and do reviews for it, and then I'll be caught up with the other ones that I did, and then we'll be good to go. <laughs> anyway, um, that's what I did for this video. So, this video, please go to like, comment down below, to tell me what you think of the episode or the show, any shows you want me to do. Please let me know in the comment section down below. Don't forget to subscribe because it does help out the channel a lot, and I'll see y'all in my next video. Bye, everybody.